Welcome to a fine gaming experience, everyone. Getting Nina back in our party let us really power up last time. That mysterious stranger's also been quite helpful and gave us entry to the enemy capital scanned. We are ready to strike at the heart of the enemy at last, so let's get moving. We'll never get scanned as a warp point, but Carmen's a short flight away from there. Hello, good sir. Here on official business stuff. Much too official to talk about. And we're in. Seems the elevator's broken. We'll head to Springs soon, but turns out, Scanned here is more of a prison colony. They were using the Mole People to excavate something called Obelisk. We could go see the unfinished tunnel, but that'll happen in a future episode. This is one of the guys we saved from Moat's dream world, and I guess he broke the parts in his rush. But Gant is just a quick warp away. Going to need the help of the chief here again. Wow, that's one hell of a wake up. And he's still half asleep. Kind of surprising he can fix it without actually knowing what it is. Now that the repairs are done, back to scanned we go. Good thing it's easy to install, but now we've got a long climb up ahead of us. Just halfway there. Stranger again. Yes, I am wondering that.
to Tunnelin' We Go. I'll skip the descent for you. A legendary dragon song, eh? Let's hear it. Is it really that obvious? Ah, that's the dragon heart we're looking for. People here will mention bottling music like a recording. That's how damaging the song was to our hero. Certainly a great anti-dragon weapon, but we'll need to heal up now. There's even more powering up we can do. If we just fly over to this tower and search, we find the Tri-Rang. This is an insanely good weapon that'll hit all enemies. And you might remember the cave where we got the water to purify Romero. Well, if we head to the bottom now... We find this hidden underwater area. containing another Dragon Shrine. We get a little cutscene and this tidbit we should remember. Agni is the pinnacle dragon spell. We'll need the whole party, and it won't work if Karn is transformed. But, its power is immense, to put it mildly. If you paid attention when Nina got time warped, you might have noticed a chest in that room. Heading to the tower is much easier and we'll skip to the top with just the one highlight again. If you recall, the time key was originally stuck in the device. It seems that it traveled with Nina, though, as we gained the key when she rejoined. So, I'll just show off the art for it now. Behind here is the Mist Sword. It would have been a nice find if we had climbed up right after losing Nina, but you can find much better when she returns, so it's not really worth it. Surprisingly, most facts out there miss this item entirely. We're loaded up, so time to finally confront Zog in Scanned. Official business? Very officially businessy. And skip to the top again. This dungeon is a bit annoying but with a simple gimmick. The switches will raise or lower gates on that floor. They're spread out, so figuring out which ones to trigger may take some exploring.
Now, there's a familiar sprite. Soldier, or Elite Guard, as he was originally named, is just another basic fighter enemy. And with only 600 hit points, we can kill him quickly. The Icy Cane is an attack upgrade for blue, but a heavy one. Staying with the Evil Cane's not a bad idea, considering its mana ability and lower weight. We'll hit the main level again so we can get to the next bit of treasure. It'll make exploring further much easier and faster doing it this way. Many of the enemies here are various humanoid dark dragon troops like the Bow and Spearmen. Makes things fairly easy to battle through without much worry, not to mention all the gear upgrades we've gotten. The glove is a really nice shield for Bo, but I can't equip it because he's fused with Karn right now. And a power hat I won't use now either. Claw is a new enemy we'll run into here, but I like his original name, Armor Eater, more. For the most part, he's a buffing enemy with a whopping 2,500 hit points to whittle through. As you might expect from a crab, he's got high defense and good attack stats as well. In the way of buffing spells, he'll usually raise his defense or attack. But rarely, he'll shield himself from magic, much to the chagrin of blue. His AI is set to be more fighting orientated as his hit points drop, so going slow early on will only make things much more rough later. Entity, or Magic Armor as it was originally called, shouldn't be much of a challenge at this point. It is capable of casting Agility Up or Shield on itself and might even use Ice X against a party member. However, its basic defense and meager 700 hit points will see it wiped out before you need to worry. We're past the gate gimmick here already, and are now on a linear path to the boss. 
It wasn't the worst trick to use for a dungeon, and I honestly feel they could have used it a bit more without it being too detrimental for the gamer. would appear from the surroundings, this is another ancient building from the height of the Dragon Clan, a natural base for the Dark Dragons. Too bad they didn't do anything high-tech for here, though that might partly be to storage restrictions on the cartridge. We'll see areas like this revisited in later games that do the theme more justice. All healed up, and now there's a row of pillars to a door. You know what that means. Eh, it's alright, I guess. Here he is, the big Zog himself in all his dragon glory. In Japan, he was named Zorgon, so it's a reasonable shortening of the original. Two things to note off the bat. First, I'll be using Rudra instead of Agni this battle. I haven't really shown off the transformation yet, so this is a pretty good opportunity for that. With Zog's stats, I can do more damage with my whole party active too. The second big thing to point out is that despite all the running around we did to get the dragon heart, I won't be using it this fight. Usually, Zog is a pretty long endurance battle, and only gets scary if he spams one or two moves. A slight spoiler, but Zog isn't the only dragon we're going to encounter, and the next one is more challenging. Saving the heart for that battle is a smarter move. Thank you. 
Zog's got a pretty good pool of moves to pull from, and will do so quite often. His basic melee attack is a long neck charge, which really won't do much. His flame breath will hit the whole party, but only tends to do a little bit more than his melee attack. His last two spells are Char and Gale, which can hit the entire party for 80 fire and 130 lightning damage respectively. If Zog decides to spam either one of these regularly, you'll be in for a lot of hurt. The first form of Mr. Zogbert has 6,000 hit points and 10,000 in his second. He doesn't pull out any new tricks when his health bar isn't visible, so it really does end up just a long endurance battle as I mentioned. Packing a few items that can heal the whole party, like Cure 2s or Magic Drops, is a smart idea. Either that, or expect to revive people a lot this fight. Four party heal items should usually be enough to take down Zog. For an evil dictator, Zog's philosophy is pretty simple, survival of the fittest. He believes his attacks are routing out the weak, and, as we'll see after he's beaten, he's pretty cool with being defeated because he wasn't strong enough to lead compared to you. He also hopes you'll take over for him and rule the world, but that would only happen if, say we were seduced by the words of a godlike being. But that wouldn't happen to a light dragon, right? And with his exploding death, the floor begins to collapse. Why we don't move forward to avoid it, I don't know. Oof. Just, just give me five more minutes. Sarah, the hero's sister? We haven't seen her since the start of the game.
Aw, oh, shucks. Thanks, sis. A special cutaway, and a mention of the legend from the intro again. <coughs> Only one problem. Let's hope that's all we run into before the end. So the mysterious stranger was Jade the whole time. Well, we do know the exit spell, but we actually need to trigger this event to leave. Having the mole people find us there was convenient. We did a lot of running around to finally take down Zog, but that was part of Jade's plan, and now he has all the goddess keys. Not to mention having Sarah under his complete control. I hope you join me next time, when we're off to Agua again, and take care all. <laughs>